All right, welcome back to another touch designer tutorial. And this is the first one where, where you actually kind of see me and probably also the last one. <laughs> and um, yeah, today we're gonna look at slit scanning. And I've prepared this uh, little network here. And um, yeah, I've been greatly inspired by recent Instagram posts. Like uh, this is nothing new, but um, yeah, kind of a lot of people have been posting this kind of technique lately and mostly this guy called Francois Fogel, I don't know <laughs> and um, yeah he's got a lot of cool artworks dealing with kind of slit scanning and time warping and that kind of stuff and we're gonna look at something a, a bit similar to this um, <coughs> and yeah I think he's working with After, After Effects, we're gonna work with Touch Designer uh, yeah, um, maybe also have a look at what slit scanning actually is on the Wikipedia or uh, somewhere else. And as you can see down here, this is pretty much the effect we're going for. All right, so I um, I can also recommend you watch the the video uh, on slit scanning by Tolch AV. I'm gonna link that because it's kind of uh, how I learned slit scanning, I guess. But this is a like this is a similar technique, but also yeah. A, b a bit different, I guess. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I'm gonna work with, like, we're gonna work with our webcam, or uh, it also works with any movie file or any kind of noise or anything that moves, pretty much. All right. So, I'm gonna go go ahead and delete this, and we're actually gonna start with a movie file in because I don't want to see myself the whole time. So let's just take a some kind of movie, something that's m moving, I don't know. These are all not, it's not actually not very great movie examples because they're not moving a lot. Anyways, um, let's start with a fit top attached to this because um, I already know that my webcam is uh, quite a weird resolution so I'm gonna just have it fit into uh, let's say 1280 by 720 um, and let's set the fit to fit outside. So nothing changes because this is the same resolution as the fit, but it's going to change for the webcam. Let's then add a null here, and um, we're going to then go from here. So I'm going to attach a composite here, and then this actually needs to be a composite because we, we're going to use more than one input, and I'm going to set this to over, uh, more than two inputs, I mean. Okay, so Let's add a rectangle now. Or actually before that, let's add the end here. So I'm going to add a level, uh, a uh, transform, and a null. Okay, so I just did that by holding shift down. Um, okay, so we have a BG here, as always, like a, just a null called BG, which I'm turning the display on for. And um, I'm going to change the, the alpha to 1 and turn the comp over background color on. And we're going to get back to the level later. So it's just for kind of post-processing. Post Alright, so uh, back to the rectangle here. Let's change its uh, y to 1 and uh, the size to 0 0.03. And let's go to the fit top. Uh, to its comment page and right click on the resolution here say copy parameter and pass that on here because we want to want to have the same resolution here as the fit okay now we can um, add a multiply here and put that in here can just switch these around because that looks better <laughs> Um, all right, so this is pretty much what slit scanning is doing. That you have kind of a slit that you're looking through, and only what you see there kind of appears. So you only see like a part of the image, uh, as big as the slit. Um, yeah. So what we want to do now is we want to move this current frame here to uh, to one of these sides, one of the two sides <laughs> that exist. Um, so either X minus or x plus so how would how do we do that we use a feedback 
So let's add a composite here again. And um, let's change the operation to over. And let's add a feedback here. And a transform to that. And let's add the transform again into the composite here. Now we can um, actually just put that in here. And on here change the, the order. And now on the transform, we can, uh, or let's actually first, let's drag this composite onto the feedback. And on the transform, let's now change this to like minus point zero zero one. And there we go. There you are, you have your kind of slit scan already working. So we're kind of just always going from the middle, going to the r to the left right now, because we're going, we're saying go minus. And the thing is, uh, you can't, can't really see that right now. I'm going to show you with the video device in. So I'm going to show myself now. And there I am. And as you can see now, this is like a weird format. It's like a, I mean, it's not that weird. It's just 640 by 408. It's just low, not weird. Anyways, um, and I'll fit that into here. And uh, so I can work with it better. As you can see, it's kind of this this effect. I mean, this also looks nice, but it's kind of like distorting, like displacing this. And I don't actually want that to happen. So to to not have that happening, just select these two and set them to nearest pixel on the comment page. So as you can see now, we have a much nicer slit scanning effect going on. Okay, so that's basically it, actually. That's, that's already kind of the effect that we're going for. And um, now, I showed you in the beginning that this was kind of going to both sides, and um, yeah, actually before I, before I do that, I'm gonna add a flip in here or insert a flip, and turn the flip axe on because I want to because um, it kind of makes more sense I feel like because my my otherwise it's mirrored and it's a bit weird. Just just see if that feels good for you. Okay, so in the beginning I had had this going to both sides, so. I'm I was just doing that with having by having two um, feedback loops. So I'm just going to, um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to add a transform here. And I'm going to shift this a bit to the left. So just a, just a tiny bit, actually, more like point zero 0.03, something like that. So it's a, just a bit shift, shifted to the left here. And um, yeah, before I show you the second loop, let's look at uh, the the speed of this. So we can just change this to like 0.2. And um, yeah, now it's going there faster. It's also a nice effect. But you can also, can, if you pause this, you can see all the different slits in there. So um, it's kind of like having a worse resolution. So to counter this, you can go to the rectangle and maybe uh, turn up the softness here to like, whoops, uh, 0 0.02. And then it's like slightly blurred and you can see them a bit less, but it's still, it still, it just doesn't look that great anymore. You could also um, turn this off and make this make the slit size just smaller. As you can see now these, these slits here are like, yeah smaller can make them even even smaller uh, I mean yeah you can still kind of see the the slits going on and I generally just recommend uh, setting this to to be kind of slower it just makes for a nicer effect okay now where you know that let's just select all of these so these five operators and copy and paste them in here and let's change this to, let's actually just go to the, this transform, right click on this, say copy parameter, and pass that in here, pass the reference in here, and just put a minus in front, and then just inverts that. So now, this rectangle is kind of shifted to the left, and this one is kind of shifted to the right at the exact same amount. Okay, so now we can go to the transform here, and um, take this minus away and um, go maybe to both of these and pulse them, both of these feedbacks. 
And now if I drag this on here and go to the comp and change the order, you can now see there's only like a slight, uh, like the slight original picture of me in the, in the in the center. That's just kind of the the range between this and this rectangle. And and then we have like slits going to the left and slits going to the right. So uh, now you can do some weird stuff here, which is actually quite a lot of fun to play with. Like, uh, yeah, I've been sitting in front of this longer than I want to admit. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so so yeah, that's, that's the basic setup. You can really go crazy with how you place these. You can use circles, you can use anything. This is just like a, like a basic setup. Um, just a, one example of how to do this. So be creative with this, please. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> you can see my love. Anyways, so I'm gonna show you a few more things that you can now you can make this even more interesting. One of them being uh, you can just add a displays here. Always love working with displaces, and um, oops, you can just displace it by itself. So it's pretty extreme. Uh, I'm gonna set the y to zero. And I'm gonna set the x to like 0 0.03, uh, 0 0.02. And as you can see, this makes for a really weird, trippy effect. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty neat. So yeah, cool stuff. <laughs> and the other thing is um, one of the uh, like just working with a time machine, pretty much, and it's one of the slit scan techniques that. Uh, Tolch presented in his video that I linked in the description. So um, for that we're gonna use a I'm gonna bypass the time uh, the displays for that. We're gonna need a uh, texture 3D. So I'm gonna add a texture 3D top in here. Um, it just looks like this. And I'm not gonna change uh, the the cache or anything. Cachey. Still not sure how to pronounce that. And I'm gonna add a time machine. And um, then I'm gonna put that in here. So we're gonna see our uh, texture 3D now because we need a second input here. And that is actually like we're gonna use a RAM for that. So I want the RAM to be the same resolution so I can. Can I still? No. Um, let's go back to fit and right click on here copy of this parameter and pass that in here. Okay, and now I want this to be vertical and we can just put that in here. And now as you can see, like we have this weird kind of warping effect. And um, when you change like the, the ramp here, it's gonna be different. So uh, it's actually quite a lot of fun. Uh, as well to play with so you can like nicely combine these together and uh, use the displays on them and you have some really crazy effect um, just with your webcam and yeah it looks super weird <laughs> all right and you can obviously change the the order of this uh, and all so to create a, a different kind of looking effect yeah and the level here is just really for you know um, Adjusting the level, uh, like the the brightness and contrast, so nothing nothing fancy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as I said, please be creative with this. There's a lot of um, different uh, appliances for this applications. I don't know. And um, yeah, <laughs> have fun mostly. So I'll see you in the next video.